Hello, my name is Helio Rosabao and I'm a team member of Brizo 4.0 and the product owner and mentor of this project is Dr. Maso Sayari. I'm going to be talking about user story to Nifty 31, which is API authentication. Brizo has an API that provides all the data needed by the website via HTTP requests. This API has a user interface that can be accessed by users that want to see all the data used by Brizo. So in the current system, this API is accessible by anyone and also grants permission to change and delete data to those who visit the API. So any guest user has access to delete the other user's account or other agent's account, to change it also. So this is very vulnerable for security. And also, <coughs> we were using token authentication in the API, but this token authentication is bypassed if the token is missing in the request header from the front end to the back end. This is a screenshot of the home page before the API authentication was implemented. Here we see that we received a 200 response <coughs> and we can see all the data. So if we access these links, we have access to users, all the users' data and we can even change it, all the agents, properties, themes, tags, everything. And we haven't even logged in. And also if we go to the user, user view, as a guest user, we haven't logged in, so we can see the data for that user, we can delete it, and we can also change that data. So the solution I came up with to fix this was to implement session authentication in the API so Razer users can log in and have access to the data. Also, I created a console permission where logged users have read-only access and only super users have access to change or delete data. With this console permission, we also avoid the problem of having the token authentication being bypassed when the token is missing from the request header. So what are the requirements that we want? First, we want only authorized users to have access to the API. We don't want any guest user to have access to see data from other users or agents. Also, regular users will not be allowed to change data in the API, so they will have read-only access. Only super users will have access to change the data in the API, so they have access to see all the data and also to change it or delete it. And the API will return an HTTP to one response, which stands for OK if valid token is in request header or session ID is in cookie. So if both are missing, we're going to return an HTTP for one response which uh, stands for unauthorized. This will happen if the user is not authenticated. So let's do a demo. Here we have the API after the API authentication has been implemented. Now we have a login button and we have uh, in the home page a for an HTTP 401 response which is unauthorized. As a case user you don't have access to see the data in the home page. So if we log in with a super user account we have our token. Now we have all the data we receive in HTTP to one response. We can go and see data from another user. And then we have access to see the data and also permission to change the data, even with the JSON type or an HTTP form. And we can also delete the user if we want to, as super users. So if we log in with a regular user account, and we have access to see data in the home page. We go to another user, and now we have read-only access. We don't have any permission to change the data for the user or to delete the data for the user. In the case of the API, if we log in again, if we go to the develop developer tools, we're gonna see that in the cookie we have the session ID stored in the cookie, and if we go through the front end and we try to make any request to the back end, let's log out first, let's log in. We have our user key over here. This is the token. So any request that has a that has a token or uh, contains a session ID, the cookie. Uh, will be validated by the backend 
and then the API is going to provide us data with a HTTP 200 response. If we don't have any of these, then we will return an HTTP 401 response, which stands for an authorize. So here is my contact information. My name is Elio Rosabal, again. And the pro owner and mentor of this project is Dr. Masasajari. Here is his contact information. Thank you so much.